Hey everybody, uh, I just put up a video about getting Windows to recognize your extra storage uh, through a hard drive and now I'm going to teach you how to partition your hard drive. So once again, you don't need to purchase anything extra. Windows has everything in there for you. Um, so let's get started. Now once again, I'm going to go to uh, the search and I'm going to type in disk management and I'm looking for create and format hard disk partitions so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that hard drive that we added uh, in the last video not this one not this one but this one and so once again if you need to know how to add that storage check out my other video um, but now we're going to talk about how to partition it now why would you want to partition a hard drive let's just say uh, you want to have different drive paths for different storage or you know if it's your only hard drive maybe you want to chop off a space to uh, upload an or install another operating system uh, calling dual boot um, you could have Linux and Windows on the same hard drive and you pick which one you want to boot off of each time you turn on your computer so this will work for that too um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and you actually see here where it says I'm going to right click in this box where it says shrink or delete the volume so let's shrink it alright so here we use the maximum amount of volume so what we're going to do is um, we're just going to type in uh, let's see it's a hundred and or two hundred and fifty gigs so we're just going to type in that kind of cut it in half almost all right so as soon as I hit OK you see that there's 110 gigs left on that M drive and there's 122 gigs left on the um, unallocated now once again this goes back to uh, where we were before on the last video where we can use this um, so what we can do is right click and actually create a new simple volume and we can go through this wizard all over again and we can just leave it at the max uh, let's assign a letter B for my friend Billy and we're just going to do the quick format and leave everything the same and once we see everything that's right and there it is so now we got an M drive and a B drive all on that one hard drive and look what I got I got my B drive and my M drive and once again, if you were to install a new operating system, I could actually go through and probably install Windows XP and I could just set it to that B drive where it will use up that 122 gigs. But then when I go into Windows, I'm still going to see the M drive off the same hard drive. Um, so what if you wanted to undo all this? What if you wanted to? You could just delete the volume. You could um, delete this volume. And then what we could do is after we delete it, okay it goes back to unallocated then right click on this one and say extend and then there we go back to the big partition so I've just shown you how to create a partition and also get rid of the partition if you want to uh, once again if you like my how-to videos give me a thumbs up if you have any questions on things you need to do on your own leave the questions in the comments and I will definitely uh, see if I can find a solution for you hope this was educational for you guys and hopefully it uh, it'll get you going in the right direction